Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome to Dad's CB Radio Corner. Today we're going to talk about how to fix a dead radio. And this radio is not dead, but it is an old parts radio. You can see I did a little bit of tape repair there over one of the parts I took off. Anyway, so what you need to know if you're going to fix a radio that's dead is first thing you got to do is check the fuse. Take that out of there. Take a look. See the fuse? It looks pretty good. Take a look in here and see if you have any corrosion. If you got corrosion on that, you want to take a little pencil eraser and clean that up. Sometimes that's all it takes. Put the radio back together and it works just fine. Now, let's give this radio a little test. I'm going to plug this in. Put the positive on the positive and the negative on the negative. Hook that right up. These aren't my favorite clips. But we'll use them for today. So, main thing I got to do is remember to keep these apart. Alrighty, there we go. See, we got a little power there. Radio works. Okay, now, probably thinking to yourself, what am I doing showing you a radio that works? This is about dead radios. Well, that means we're going to have to kill this radio. So, today, we're going to hook it up backwards. And I'm probably going to kill the radio. At least that's the plan. So we'll find out here. Took the fuse out, otherwise all it would do is pop the fuse. Here we go, get a little spark. Anything happen? No, I didn't see anything at all. Try that one more time. Okay, radio's off. All right, let's have a look. We'll switch it around and see if it works. Hook it up correctly here. Well, what do you know? Okay, now the radio has quit working and I need to show you why. There's a diode right here. You take a look where I'm pointing. You can see that's banded. There's a band on one end and there's not a band on the other. That's because electricity can only flow one way. It's kind of like a one-way valve. And we've damaged it by hooking it up backwards so it's no longer flowing. You take a look over here, you can see the power wires. And when the power wire comes in, you want to trace that down. And the nearest diode to the power wire is the one that's going to blow. So, the next thing we need to do is remove that diode, and we're going to put a new one in. Okay, we flipped the radio over, and we found out which of these solder points happens to be the diode. So, first of all, we want to use a little solder braid there. Get some of that solder off. That solder braid is usually made out of copper and it likes the solder. It sucks that solder right up for you. Put that on the other side. Get that nice and hot. There we go. Now, we're going to roll the radio back over. Pull that diode out. It looks like it's, hey, there we go. See that? There's the diode right there. Pretty well out already. All we got to do is lift that out of there. There. Okay. Now, Here's our new diode. I want to make sure we, re we remember the banding, but if you look down in there, you can see that uh, there's a band already there on the board. It tells you what direction that diode's supposed to go. So we'll get that diode ready. I want to bend that a little bit, kind of match the other one. All right, we got those lined up nice. I'm going to push that through and kind of give it a little tug and you can see now it's nice and tight right up against the board where it's supposed to be you can roll that over like to kind of bend them over and then I solder them in place that seems to work pretty good for me so here we go get a little solder on that you don't want to heat the board up too much because you can damage the foil so we try to heat right on the edge there get a little solder going there we go Get that solder point nice and warm. Watch the solder flow right in. Okay, there we are. We've replaced our diode. And when you get the legs done, you can cut them off so they don't get in the way of the board. You want to lift them up a little bit here. Use a micro cutter, you can get that right down to the bottom. Cut that off. Bring this one up. Get that micro cutter in there. Cut that one off. Let's roll the radio over. See what we got there. That looks pretty good. Our diode's in place. Let's hook it up, see if we got any power. Okay, we got our diode in. 
Now it's time to put things back together. So we're going to put the fuse in here. Put that on and tighten it up. Maybe. There we go. Okay. We got that tightened up. And we'll hook the positive to the positive. The negative to the negative. And I need to plug the battery in and then we'll find out if this works. Take a look at the radio there. There, did it come on? Let's take another look. I think this clip jumped off. There we go. Okay. Radio is back to working nice, quick, and easy. And that's how you fix a dead radio. Thanks for tuning in today. And if you would uh, like to see more of my videos, you can just click on the icon that says Dad's CB Radio Corner. Thank you.